Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is the servant of Jesus Christ. We thank all of you for being you on YouTube, you on Facebook. Robert Dunlap, the servant of Jesus Christ. We greet you from God the Father and from his Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of God and is alive and is now set on the right hand of the Father, according to the Scripture. We greet you this day. We thank all of you for viewing. Today is it's the year 2020. When you see this, hallelujah, at this time is much uh, protest going on in the world, especially in the United States. Because of an evil police officer that put his knee on the man's neck, unarmed, already subdued, already handcuffed. The man said he couldn't breathe, the policeman didn't care because he's evil and of the devil. The believer white, the man black. It's nothing new. Believer been doing that all that, that all the time. Abusing, killing, murdering all the time. That's nothing new. But people have took to the streets and marching and you even have some that's uh that burning down buildings and looting and all that. Now, during this period of time, I've heard two people, one a saint, the other a sinner. They mentioned the same thing. The saint said that she know, yes, she's a Christian and she tried to live a Christian life, but due to the events of the uh, policeman killing George Floyd, murdering George Floyd in cold blood. And the people have took to the streets. She say, I know I'm a Christian and I'm trying to live the Christian life, but it's time out for turning the other cheek. It's time out for that. But yes, I'm a Christian, but no, it's time out for that. Well, she just flew up in Jesus' faith. I had another one tell me a relative of mine, he's a bar. Now, y'all preachers need, need to stop preaching, turn the other cheek. So that too, I heard. I heard another one, which she didn't mean and she meant another way, but she wasted the way she presented it. And she said, All of you preachers, get out and hit the streets. Go in the streets. But we zero in it on turn the other cheek. Jesus said that. Now you don't even know what turn the other cheek means. You have no idea what it means. None. Zero. Get your Bible and let's learn something. Yeah, God, you better be glad that people have turned the other cheek. You better be glad if people, if most of us, most of us, if people had not turned the other cheek, most of us would be dead. I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you. I know I'd be stoned to death. <coughs> For adultery, I'd be stoned to death. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Other things I've done. Man, it'll be a hurt put on me. Thing you've done, you better be glad that they turned the other cheek. You wouldn't be here. <coughs> Mm. 
Many don't understand what turning the other cheek means. Jesus never said, let people abuse you and you do nothing about it. Jesus never said that. That's not what turning the other cheek means. Jesus didn't say, let, let, let people walk all on you and abuse you and don't you do nothing. Jesus didn't say that. Get your Bible. Go to Matthew chapter number five. Praise the Lord. Your error not knowing the scripture. And we say so often, if you had Bible class, you would know. But there's not, there's, they don't teach it. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 38. Look what Jesus said. Watch it. Watch it. Ye have heard in Matthew 5 38, ye have heard that it had been said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you, that ye resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him, the other cheek. Jesus is talking about eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. You don't know what that means. Because you've never been taught. But that's why God raised me up. That's why Jesus raised me up. Go to the book of Exodus Chapter 21 and verse 24. This is what Jesus is talking about. Exodus chapter 21 and verse 24. Look at what, look, look at what Jesus, Jesus said. Ain't no more of this. What we get ready to read. We need to start at 22. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> and we'll come back to that. Let's start at 22. Exodus 21, 22. If men strive and hurt a woman with a child, So that her fruit depart from her. She pregnant and she lose the baby. And man is the cause of it. There's two men striving together. So that her fruit depart from her and yet no mischief follow. No evil follow. It was an accident. Two men striving together and the woman maybe got in the way, hallelujah, to try to stop them or break them up. Or she was close by. Oh God. Bring on up to our day. Two men fight and a straight bullet hits. Huh? Exodus 21, 22. If men strive, oh, uh, that mean men fight and hurt a woman with child so they approve the problem of her, and yet no mischief follow. It was an accident. They weren't trying to do this. It, it, 
and yet no mischief follow, he shall be surely punished. He gonna be punished for that, for hurting my wife. He shall be surely punished according to the to the as the woman's husband shall lay upon him. Watch this. This is why Bible study is so important. Let me make it right, man. Yeah. And he will pay as the judges determine. Whatever the judge said, that's what you're going to pay. You see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? Take them to the judge. So, see? You see where Bible study is so important? Ain't no, ain't no call to be ignorant. Let me, let me say this too. Y'all up here burning down four buildings and, and, and busting windows and stealing and all that. You wrong. All right. Watch this. And if any mischief follow, that means they kill him. Mm, that means they kill her. Then thou shalt give life for a life. Kill, you kill my wife, I'm going to kill you. Kill him. Uh, watch this. Eye for eye, two for two, hand for hand, foot for foot. Burning for burning, wound for wound, strike for strike. And if a man smite the eye of his servant or the eye of his maid that it perish, he shall let them go free for his eye's sake. They don't have to work for you no more, they free. But what by God, whatever they owe to. Dead clear. <laughs> and if he smite out his servant tooth, or his main servant tooth, he shall let him go free for the tooth sake. They free. They free. They don't owe you nothing. Uh huh. Now, back up to twenty two. If men strive and hurt the woman with child, so they'll prove the problem of her. Yet no bitch ain't body. He says, You'll be part of the court to the man's home with him. He shall pay as the judge is determined. Jesus an outlaw as the judge is determined. You take these folk to the law and make them pay. But he said eye for eye. What is eye for eye? And if it is mischief, Father, thou shalt give life for life. If you kill Huh, I'm going to kill you. Huh? Burning for burning, wound for wound, strike for strike. This is personal. But to back back up, he and I'll, he and I'll do the judge if whatever the judge determines. Huh? Praise God. This is personal. Now. Uh, I want you to go. And we already cleared up the judge. Whatever the judge is determined. Watch this. Go Leviticus. Chapter 24 and verse 20.
was it? Same thing. He that killeth a man shall surely be put to death. Watch it. He that kills the beast shall make it good, beast for beast. You kill, you kill my my cow or whatever. Let us make it right. Huh? Here's a cow. Hallelujah. It be though. It don't. It don't. It, it, it ain't no call for being ignorant, people. Excuse me. You talk. You know nothing of. You don't even know the scripture. If a man calls a blemish in his neighbor. As he had done, it shall be done unto him. Breach for breach, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. As he had called the blemish in a man, so shall it be done to him again. He that killeth a beast, he shall restore it. He that killeth a man, he shall be put to death. Watch it. Ye shall have one man of law. And well for the stranger, and for one in your own company, country, I am the Lord your God. No different law. Watch it. And Moses spake to the children of Israel that they shall bring forth him that has had cursed out of the camp and stoned him with stone. And the children of Israel did as the Lord commanded Moses. Jesus did abolish, did abolish to go on before the judge, to go on before the law. He didn't abolish that. He spoke by eye for eye. In the same thing, he said, break him out in stone. In the same breath, he said, whatever the judge is determined, back over in Exodus. You gotta say what the scripture said. Jesus dealt with eye for eye. And we, we, come on, come on. All right, I want you to go to Deuteronomy 19 21. Deuteronomy 19 21. I want to give you good understanding. Deuteronomy 19 21. You don't even know what you're talking, you have no understanding. Let's start with 15. One witness shall rise up against a man for any iniquity. Got a witness. When, when they brought that woman to Jesus, and, and y'all said you just is ignorant. Well, they probably brought the man too. No, they said one witness. All you need is a witness. One witness shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity. And for any sin, if any sin that he said it at the mouth of two witnesses or at the mouth of three witnesses, it shall be established. If three people witness that you did this, that's it. Mm -hmm. If a false witness rise up against any man to testify against him, that which is wrong, then both the men between who the controversy is the men that lie. Shall stand before the Lord, before the priests and the judges, which shall be in those days, and the judges shall make a del delinquent uh, 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 inquisition. And behold, if the witness shall be a false witness and hath testified false against his brother, then shall ye do unto him as he thought to have done to his brother, so shall thou put the evil from away from among you. Put the evil away. You see that? You see that? And those who remain shall hear and fear, and shall henceforth commit no more such evil among you. Put the evil away. And let them see you put the evil away, then they'll fear. If you put the false prophet out there in your churches, 
other will friend. They won't break fall problems up in the chest. I don't care if you get up, fall out, and roll out. And those will remain here hear in fear and henceforth commit no more any such evil among you. And that I shall not pity. But life shall go for a life. I for I, two for two, hand for hand, foot for foot. See, the preacher gets eye for eye. That way you preach again. But up here, it spoke about false witness. It going for the judge. Huh? See, you never said you could take nobody to before no judge. Now let's go back to 21. I want to show you something. Go back to Exodus uh, uh, 21. I need to show you something. Praise the Lord. In 12, he that smited the man so that he died shall still be put to death. Z was talking about eye for eye. Z was talking about the law. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, G, G wasn't talking about going before the judge. He was talking about eye for eye. If a man, if a man lie not in wait, but God, and if a man lie not in wait, but God, deliver him into the hand of, into his hand, then I will appoint thee a place where he shall flee. But if a man come presumptly upon his neighbor and slay him with guile, you you know you know you do you not know you can kill somebody by accident? You you wasn't intended to. That wasn't your aim. Upon his neighbor to slay him with guile because you hate your neighbor. Thou shalt take him from my altar that he may die. He that smited his father and mother shall surely be put to death. He that stealeth a man and selleth him. I by God I preach this, hallelujah. If I preach this at the prison. That's what the Bible said. He that stealeth a man. And said to him, or if he will be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. Boy, the word of God is against y'all your evil. He that cursed your father and mother put to death. If, if men strive together and one smite the other with a stone or with a fist, and he die not, but keep it his bed, if he rise again and walk abroad upon his staff, then shall he that smote him. Be quiet, only he shall pay for the loss of his time and shall cause him to be thoroughly healed. Jesus spoke about eye for eye. Jesus said nothing about coming for no judge. Yeah. Jesus had every right, right under the law to stone that woman to death. Remember, they die, they die without mercy on the two or three witnesses. Without mercy. Even if they repented, too late. All right. Now, let me read what Jesus said. Hallelujah. Matthew 5, 40. And every man shall sue thee at the law. And take away thy coat, give him the cloak, the cloak also. And whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him twain. Give to him that ask of thee, and for him that would borrow, turn thee not away. You have heard that it had been said, Thou shalt love the name and hate the enemy. 
But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you. Now, watch this. Go to Leviticus. I mean, do the run. Uh, God won't give you good understanding. I'm sorry, Leviticus, Leviticus, yeah, 1918, Leviticus 1918, let's look at that, see what that says. Let's start with 15. You shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor, nor honor the person of the mighty, but in righteousness thou shalt judge thy name. Thou shalt not go up and down as a tail bear among the people, neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. I am the Lord. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise Rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. All right. Uh, I tell you what, go to Deuteronomy 23 and 3, Deuteronomy 23 and 3, Deuteronomy 23 and 3. The Amorite or Moabite shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Even in their tenth generation, they shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord because they met you not with bread or water in the way when you came forth out of Egypt because they hired against thee Balaam, Saul, of Peor, and Musa to curse uh, 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 thee. Now, Back to five. Thou shalt love a neighbor and hate thy enemy. I say unto you, love your enemy, bless them to curse you, do good to them that hate you, pray for them that spite you. Now, it's another verse that said what Jesus say, if that if thy enemy hunger feed him, if he thirsty give him drink, that's hunger and feed him. Jesus never said, let nobody abuse you and you don't do nothing about it. And you just stand there and take it. He never said that. Jesus dealt with eye for eye. We read eye for eye. Yeah. We read what that was about. But Jesus still dealt with, Jesus still had the law. And they were told these folks that do all this stuff, bring them outside the gate and stone them to death. You, you see that? How many of y'all see that? Men obey the laws of the land. The law, the law is ordained by God. And with Moses. <laughs> Watch it. Watch this. I got to show you this. I got this is important. This is important. Oh, I had something here. I had something here. I had something here. 
Leviticus 24 and 17. Whosoever takes a human life says she will be put to death. Jesus dealt with eye for eye. Vengeance in mind, said the Lord. God will get you. Oh, you're going to get it. Whether on this side or the other side, you're going to get it. Hallelujah. Uh, oh, oh. I need to show you this. Go to 30, 25, 525. Agree with thine adversary quickly. Why thou art in the way with him, lest at any time thy adversary deliver thee to the judge. Jesus never, Jesus never forbidden you from taking these evil doers to no judge and to the law. I for I don't mean let them do whatever they want to do and you don't do nothing about it. Deliver them to the judge. As we read earlier in Exodus 21. Take them to the judge. These are agrees to have a unless they take you before the judge. All right, I for I, now you know. I for I, not talking about let folk do you any kind of way. All right, that's enough of that. Thank you for real. Thank you for real.